It's strawberry story time. Hello, little berries. Welcome back. I hope you're having a lovely Christmas. Do you have any Christmas traditions in your house? Well, the story I've got for you today is called My Gingerbread Journey, and it's written by our friend A. L. Bullard, and it's all about the building of a gingerbread house. Come on, let's go and see what it looks like. My sister and I have been waiting all year. Our winter tradition is finally here. Today we create a magical treat. It's a small cottage that you can actually eat. Through the snow and sparkling mist, we venture to the store with our grocery list to gather our scrumptious supplies. There's one more stop up the lane to the candy shop. I built a gingerbread house with all my heart. And to my surprise, it fell apart. I lined up the sugar-coated gum drops, first green, then red. Then I carefully placed them on the gingerbread. Steadily, I placed the last piece of taffy on the rooftop. Right before my eyes, the ginger biscuits went flop. Why did the entire house cave in? The icing must have been a little too thin. There was no more frosting left to plaster. Using it all up led to a gingerbread disaster. It was a crumpled mess, as you can see. I had myself a cookie catastrophe. My mum could sense I wanted to cry. She saw me holding back tears in my eyes. She smiled and said, "The joy of a tradition is that we have them every year." Not before long, this festive season will reappear. I had no choice. My creation ended up in my tummy. I must admit, it tasted yummy. I was determined that next year would be better. Just so I wouldn't forget, I wrote some ideas in a letter. Dear future self, I believe too much candy made this house unstable. Sadly, my hard work ended up all over the table. The base of the house should be wider. The candy you choose a little lighter. Lastly, this is important. Do not forget: before adding sweets, the house must be set. I wish you the best of luck, Chuck. A snowy winter day is finally here. We have been waiting to build another gingerbread house all year. A table of delight, as far as I can see. Ideas are beaming inside of me. A tree of cotton candy with a star on top, icing on the spoon. Plop, plop, plop. A light post made with a striped candy cane. Chocolate sprinkles for a winding lane. A fence arranged with lollipops. Icing on the spoon, plop, plop, plop. A chimney out of caramel squares. Around the edge are gummy bears. Adding to the magic in the air is the frosting stuck in my sister's hair. We are laughing and we cannot stop. Icing on the spoon, plop, plop, plop. I believe that is enough candy. I shouldn't add any more. I'll finish my house off with a peppermint on the door. This time, I patiently wait for the frosting to dry, as I watch snow flurries dance in the sky. The gingerbread house looks delicious. This is the truth. Do you think I could have a nibble off the roof? And a piece of the side will probably be okay. It still seems sturdy in its own unique way. I'll take a gum drop here and a candy cane there. It will be fine, and I'm happy to share. I had no choice. My creation ended up in my tummy. I must admit, it tasted yummy. The lesson I learned this time around: throughout the frustrations, happiness can be found. If your gingerbread house falls, there is no blame. Collapsed or not, it all tastes the same. The joy of a tradition is that we have them every year. Not before long, this festive season will reappear. We will gather and build a house full of colour, 
creating loving memories with one another. Does your gingerbread houses break? Ours do every year. Thanks for listening, guys. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching.